On a tiny island in New Jersey lies a medieval shrine that's filled with fascinating history, and its exquisite features will leave you absolutely awestruck. Rising above the remote landscape of Lake Kenelon in Morris County, St. Hubert's Chapel is a hidden structure that holds the huge legacy of being one of the first fully integrated ecclesiastical interiors designed by the renowned Tiffany Glass Company. After landing at the boat dock, the Gothic exterior greets its guests with a castle-like appearance that harkens back to the Middle Ages. A bluestone walkway leads to the oak door entrance, studded with cast bronze hardware from Lewis Comfort Tiffany. More of Tiffany's masterpieces await inside the narthex, complete with a Celtic cross that holds hundreds of pieces of glass, some of which are three inches thick. The Angel of Resurrection is an Italian sculpture that sits nearby in memory of Mary Cogswell Kinney, mother of the chapel's patron, Francis S. Kinney. The 120-year-old chapel shows off yet another Tiffany design in the mosaic marble flooring, which was modeled after Byzantine ruins dating back to the period when St. Hubert lived in the 7th century. From there, you'll pass Tiffany's clamshell-shaped holy water font as you make your way into the chapel's glorious centerpiece, the sanctuary. The charming space seats 25 people and is adorned by Tiffany's masterful altar, where you'll find geometric glass mosaics made up of thousands of stained glass squares. Eight windows depicting the life of St. Hubert illuminate the sanctuary and were purchased from William Gibson, who is known as the father of stained glass painting in America. To the right of the altar sits a small enclave for sacristy and confessionals, adjacent to a 1,500-pound oak facade featuring carved cherubs and a large oak stag. Although not accessible to the public, the facade hides a circular iron staircase that ascends 20 feet to the chapel's chimes and the stone clock tower. The clock was manufactured by the prestigious E. Howard & Company in 1886 and represents the pinnacle of this unique New Jersey destination. This was the very first church that Louis C. Tiffany did the complete interior design for. And that's significant because a lot of the uh, artistic elements that they used in the chapel, he later employed in his other church interiors. In total, there may have been a dozen churches where they did the whole interior design. And out of that, only about six still survive. I give most of the tours uh, during the summer, and most people are just awestruck about this tiny little building and all of the artwork that it contains. The Smoke Rise Club currently owns St. Hubert's Chapel, so only community members can access the grounds regularly. The chapel is open to the public on select dates, but the pandemic has put those plans on hold for the foreseeable future. To stay updated, visit www.kinelonheritage.org. And when you make the trip to see this incredible masterpiece in person, don't forget you can only find it just in Jersey. <laughs>